Hi guys, so let's have a look on how we can motorize the Fujinon MK Zoom motorization. So we have a 5-pin Lemo 0B connector and this connector is attached uh, down here to the motorization. The motorization can take 10 to 30 volts, so you should be able to power it from any power source within the movie and video industry. Um, for example, Sony delivers this as a standard battery. Um, if you switch to, for example, to a SWIT battery, they have a DTAP power out source. So you can just connect this one in the back to power the lens. And on the um, same side, you can just connect the DTAP power here and then you're ready to go. It automatically calibrates as soon as it gets power and it's ready to go. So let's say you have a F5, F55 camera. So the F5, F55 camera, we have a different uh, cable. It's the F55A2P cam. And this cable has a four pin power connector. So this goes here in the back into the F5, F55. And the specialty about it is that this cable draws power out of the camera as well puts the run, camera run stop signal into the camera. If you have a um, power breakout, for example, the three pin Fisher connector, so we have a cable, it's called RSA2P cam. So you can use that one, just connect this one here, this one into your breakout box with the three pin Fisher. We have as well uh, various cables, uh, for example, a two pin uh, Lemo 0B connector, which uh, would go into the breakout boxes with the two pin connectors, as well for various steady cams and power sources. For example, the four pin XLR to have just a little power supply for it. So you have the options to either use the internal battery, external block battery, and then with different breakout boxes. Thanks for watching and if you have any question, I'm Tim, Tim from Crozier.